Okay, uh, so let's come here. Uh, based on all of this, I think decision tree, you will be able to say that it's definitely not linear because it has multiple divisions. So if you look at the function, let's say for even x1, uh, x1, x2, x3, let's say three features are there. It will say that if uh, x1 is in this and this, for x1, this, I have a label for x1, uh, x2, go here. Check the three conditions, then either the next label or then check another few conditions. So what sort of structure it will actually form will definitely not be linear. Okay, so that particular thing I think would be pretty clear if you know what how functions uh, work. Uh, this sort of broken function is never going to be linear. But for KNN and uh, nearest neighbor, uh, I can share some other way uh, how I can prove that this is something which is not linear. Uh, before that support vector machine is actually a linear classifier needless to say uh, in the past video we have seen that this is what the actual classifier is so it's literally a line so yes it's a linear classifier but uh, nearest neighbor and knn is actually not and the reason for that is let's say that uh, i have these brown points okay let's say that this is the total area that i have all the points that exist are between these only okay so these are the points and uh, this is one class point red is uh, another class of points okay so this is red and then i have let's say i'll take another class for the sake of it let's say we have three classes this time so these are the points for the blue one okay now how can i say that this is actually a non-linear classifier okay so the way to actually prove that particular thing is that okay any point that relies in let's say uh this much area would definitely have and i'm talking about nearest neighbor any point that comes in any of these regions will have one of these three as the nearest neighbor here if i come anywhere here one of these five any place that is within this particular region the colored one will actually have one of the red points as their nearest neighbor similarly between this brown and this one anything that comes before this okay or similarly here if any point come here here again now between these two so and here any point that comes here okay will have margin like this so this sort of a boundary across the red one will also be covered by the red points itself so if all any of the points that actually comes in any of those regions will actually fall into the category of red point using the concept of nearest neighbors okay similarly if i go for the blue points okay so the region for the blue points uh, definitely all the points that are between this so here uh, between these two between these two uh, i think this much region will be any point that falls in any of these regions will actually be getting into the uh, blue color territory right so red will actually extend into this boundary as well because there is definitely anything between that is clearly one of these but even here if it comes it's closer to red compared to the brown ones and anything that i have left is basically the boundary of the brown ones now i know that you haven't seen uh, the way we actually explained kds neighbor you didn't actually see uh, this sort of a diagram for the three okay uh, three classes but that is what basically happens i mean any point that fall in any of these blue region brown regions you may have to calculate for all the points no doubt because the computers can't see your patterns it will only calculate the distances and be able to draw something like this. But the concept here is very simple that any point that actually fall in this particular region will be brown in this region is blue. This region is red. So definitely this is not linear. You cannot use any line to mark the boundary for these three regions. Okay. Similarly for the K nearest neighbor, instead of this simple, it will be a little more uh, dramatic, but it will still have the same effect. Okay. So that is how you can see uh, that these classifiers are linear or non-linear. And depending on how your particular pattern is, let's say your pattern is something like this, you definitely need a linear solution. If your pattern goes something like this, that these are the brown points, these are the one of the brown points, and I have to classify uh, brown points separately than uh, the blue points. Okay, if I have something like this, then my ideal classifier, the ideal classifier, goes something like this and this cannot be taken care of by a line so i need a polynomial or some sort of a, a nearest neighbor k nearest neighbor decision tree sort of a thing here okay so 
depending on how your data looks, you can decide and you can plot all your data in some sort of a scatter plot or something like that and decide whether you want to go for a linear classifier or non-linear classifier. Okay. And how do you know those two? You know that as well now. Okay. In the next video, we'll see another different uh, decision that you might have to make at some point or the other.